The last step on these uh, tools is we're going to do a black oxide coating for them. And we've got a kit here from Caswell. It's a cold, uh, a, a cold method. Um, what I've done though is I took the parts, they went in the, uh, the tumbler overnight. So they've got a nice satin finish to them. Uh, they got washed real well. And then I've got them soaking in an acid bath. This is a mild uh, acid bath that I use for uh, the same stuff that I would use for, say, uh, anodizing uh, aluminum or things like that. What I'm really trying to do is make sure that there's no residual rust left on the, uh, the parts. So, they've been soaking for a while. And you notice I'm wearing gloves, eye protection, I got a fan going, doors are all wide open. So we're going to do a rinse, making sure not to splash anything. Alright, so, now that we've done a rinse, we'll go ahead and we're going to put it in the oxide solution and this stuff works pretty fast um, 30 seconds or so and it's it's pretty well done but I'm just gonna I'm moving it around swishing it around in the oxide solution and the last step is for it to go into the sealant and it's gonna sit in the sealant for about five minutes or so so basically what I'm gonna do is I will yeah I've got it nice and dark now so there's the oxide coating. We'll go ahead and do another rinse. And then this is going to go in the sealant. And it's going to stay in there for about five minutes or so. Let me move the camera. We'll get a, a better angle. And I'll show you what we're doing. All right. So you can see we've got our, let's do a rinse here. We've got our parts in the acid bath. We want to be very careful here. Let's make sure we're not splashing anywhere. All right, we'll do a rinse. This is just to get any of the residual acid off. And then we're gonna go into the blackening solution. And you can see it's already starting to darken up. Now this blackening solution, it's one pint to uh, nine pints of water. Now this is, um, I'm using the oil-based sealant. They do have another um, sealant that you can use. But this is the penetrating uh, sealant. So one of the big things you got to be careful of when you're doing this there you go, you guys can see how dark that got. Do another rinse. And this will go in the sealant as well. Alright, let's change the angle. So this should give you a view of, yeah, so you can see, now you'll be able to see the, how quickly it does its the oxidation. You see it's already turning black. But I want a nice, heavy coat on this. So it's going in here for about 30 seconds. Um, I could just drop all the parts in here and then pull them out one at a time. But um, I kind of like the idea of moving it around so that we get a nice even coating across the whole part. Because um, if stuff was stuck together, you might not, you might not get that. So you can see, we've got a really nice coating, and then we're going to drop it into the sealant, and we'll do the next one. Now well, there they are. That's the, the last of them. They sit like this. It'll dry. Um, it doesn't fully dry because this is an oil-based um, sealant. So um, it'll always have kind of a little bit of an oily texture to it. But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So let them sit and be ready to deliver them. Well, that wraps this one up. What's kind of fun about this uh, particular project, um, aside from it being a repeat project, is I use multiple um, systems here. It puts us to the test across all of what we do. So the, the lathe, from the lathe to the mill, from the mill to the welding table, 
um, and then to finishing, right? So each time I've done this job, I've been able to refine the process a little bit more, make it a little nicer for the customer. It uh, doesn't really cost anything more uh, to, to do it per piece when you, you know, really break it down. Um, and, uh, you know, eats into my profit a little bit, but frankly, I want to deliver the best product I can, I can give to the customer. So um, that's the story I'm taking. I've chosen to just refine this one each time and uh, they keep coming back. So that's the way I like it. And uh, let's wrap this one up. Uh, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll catch you again soon.